Hi guys, it's Jamie here and to do a walkthrough of this journal I've tried to create the widest field possible because it flips open up out all over the place. This is the New Baby Girl journal, it's also available in blues and neutrals I think as well. Give you an idea, it's quite chunky and very heavy. Simple closure, just a ribbon. Let's open it up and see these beautiful digitals. When you open it up, you're faced with two pages. On this side, I'm going to try and move it so you can see, we immediately have a flip up with a card. These cards have been edged with Distress Vintage Victorian Velvet and you can write on the back. I've also included the prompts like I weighed, I was born in, a lot of the ephemera has been added. Let's open up the next page. We have an envelope with another little card. The envelope is actually attached. Oh, that should be that way. I'll show you that in a minute. My first day trip, my name is on this side, so that would flip over that way. My first vacation, and then again inside of here, another card. And you could add a small photo to that or write on it. This also opens out and has a card. As you can see, I've done a masterboard background with scraps to make some of the cards and back them with some of the digital papers. My favourite book. You could even write a quote from the book. All these images are part of the digital set. So it should go like that, I think. Or you could do it that way. That makes more sense. Plain page, woohoo! <laughs> right on this, you could add a small Polaroid or photo booth type photo. If you've got a printer at home, you can print photos up any size you want. On this side, some of the paper and a small fussy cut has been used to create an accordion for writing on. Here we have photo mats or journaling cards. They've been made photo mat size, so just over six by fours or four by sixes. One side has a design on it and the other side is plain. So you can either write on that or add a photo and you would have a very, very small border of that paper. And of course there's writing space on this side. I've also done some slightly more junk journal style. So although it's a photo mat, you still have a flip. The envelopes that come with the mega bundle, or you can get the templates from the add-on section of the shop and then print them on your own paper. So that was our plain card. Another plain card. And so we go through various photo mats, or like I say, large journal cards. That's the first set of pages. Then we go to our second set. Starts with a, I can't remember what, policy type envelope opening. These were buttons that were covered with the digital papers, sanded around the edges and then stained to match everything that's going on here. And then it opens this way and this way, just to reveal more writing space, favorite toy, favorite song, big teddy image. You do this up with a figure of eight. There are nine tutorials with this kit, short ones, that show you every stage of making this exact journal or album, whatever you want to call it from the structure to this style of addition, every single stage. And you turn this over, you've got a large pocket, again made masterboard style, and a masterboard style tag. And I've got to say, this is just the cutest. Here we have a small belly band, and I clipped onto that this tiny, tiny envelope. And inside the envelope is the tiniest of little booklets. How cute is that? The detail in this is quite something. This is not something you could buy in a shop. 
mass produced. This is actually an accordion. I hope you saw that because now we're going to turn the accordion this way so you can see the next pages. We have another flip and another card that you can write on. And this is quite a big journaling space in itself. Here we have more of those journal cards or photo mats. So I actually did 12, one for each month of a first year of a baby. And then these are the ones that have been done slightly more junk book style. So I made a deeper pocket on this side. Here, another flip, another card, and then writing space or space to add photos. One of the envelopes, the long style envelope, a smaller tag style card, and on the back, more space for adding own things. Another one. That time I did a tag style. I think this might be a plain one with a writing space. Another plain one. And then another one with another envelope and card. So as you can see, the majority of my flips are these envelopes. It just makes it easier to do. I've done one that's paper. Because this was an accordion, we now go, I think I've covered everything, this way. Double pocket page, patchwork or masterboard style. Couple of prompts, favourite snack, favourite meal, so related, picnic basket, honey. And then we've got two more cards. Let me close that one up so we can get to this one. Another one of the envelopes, I keep saying another envelope. Standing up and then in here, what I've included is all the prompt words that I didn't use. In fact, I don't think I included all of them because I've just seen some in the box that I use for keeping things together when I'm making a journal. So I didn't even put in all the words I didn't use. One of the envelopes and then another card. You can see that I double printed the paper before making the envelopes so that you always had a pretty inside as well. Big writing space or space to add another photo. And first crawl was the prompt for that one. I think that went that way. I think we've been through everything. Oh, well, didn't take as long as I expected. And then it all closes up. I didn't put anything on the back cover because I just felt there was enough going on. I did do some very light mixed media on the front cover, which again is in a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough and I will be back with Provence very, very soon. Bye.